Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build the incubator I use at home. Uh, given that winter's here and there are some cooler temperatures on our way in the northern hemisphere at least, I thought it's a great time to show you the incubator I use at home. It's really an easy thing to build and not too expensive, so let's get right into it. So for this incubator, we are going to need a foam cooler box, a heating mat, that also includes a thermometer and a thermostat which allows you to set uh, the temperature. You'll also need a, a piece of foam like this or similar, some kind of rack or trivet just like this one, uh, some polyfill cotton stuffing, whatever you call it, uh, some micropore tape, a knife or Stanley trimmer, whatever you got, and a skewer. All right, now it's time to assemble the incubator. I like to take the heating mat and note where the power cable is. This will inform where we make our first cut right there that's where we want it cut a square hole and with the foam you've cut out uh, make a little cut like this this is where the power cord will fit into and then it's just a matter of putting the heating mat in and pulling through the cables thusly Place the foam block on the power cable and put it back in place. And that creates a really nice seal. Then take our skewer, make a hole in the side for our thermometer probe. And it goes. Easy as. Then we cut out a second hole with our knife. And this is going to serve as a filter. Uh, if you fill this incubator up with lots of spawn, um, it can pump out quite a lot of carbon dioxide. So this filter placed at the bottom of the cooler will allow that to uh, leave, not suffocate our mycelium. There we go. The micropore tape just holds it in place. Now on top of the heating mat, we place our trivet or rack. And then on top of that, we place a big piece of foam. This is going to stop the spawn from drying out as well as not sandwiching the heating mat between two insulating layers. Very important. And there we go. Really quick and simple incubator. And here we can see some of my spawn. Some nice rice there. Looking pretty nice. colonizing well. I run this incubator at around 22 degrees Celsius uh, and I find that works really well and I always get a reasonably fast colonization. This is about two days old. This is also about two, two or three days old. But yeah, works great, keeps a nice stable temperature for all your grain and whatever. I hope you get some use out of this. Uh, cheers for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.